Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the brand new AMD A10 5800K Trinity APU. This series of APUs are long awaited already and now they finally launched. For those of you that don't know what an APU is, well APU stands for Accelerated Processing Unit. This means there's a traditional CPU inside and integrated graphics. And these two units are combined together on a single APU chip. But here's the box, again we're looking at the A10 5800K or also known as A10 580K. Here are some specifications and this APU is only compatible with the new FM2 socket and AMD recommends going with the A85X flagship chipset on your motherboard. But you can of course also run it with the A75 and A55 chipsets. The box looks very nice in my opinion and it got a lot smaller compared to the previous generation Lano APU boxes. On this side AMD basically tells you more about the dual graphics technology, so you can combine the integrated graphics with the discrete graphics card to get even more performance. Here's a little table that tells you what will basically run in dual graphics mode or also known as Crossfire. The A10 series goes with the HD 6670 and 6570, same for the A8 series. The A6 series runs with the HD 6570 and 6450. I will not test dual graphics in this video, but I'll make a separate video on that, don't worry. On the back of the box you get the description in different languages. I really like the black color AMD went with for the box. That's because you can overclock this unit very easily since you have an unlocked multiplier. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. Alright, that's the AMD manual and warranty. This is the stock cooler and it looks fairly simple but it isn't very large. This means the APU most likely will not run hot. Thermal paste comes reapplied already and the fan uses a 4 pin fan connector. And last but not least the APU and the plastic protection even with the sticker. Now I'll take out the processor and there it is, it looks very beautiful. On the back as always are the pins and there's some free space of pins in the center just like we used to see it on the FM1 socket. For this test I'll be using the Gigabyte gaf 2 a 75 m d 3 h motherboard with the A75 chipset. And as for cooling I'll go with the stock cooler. But now let's move on to the specifications. The AMD A10-5800K is a quad-core Trinity APU that has a base clock of 3.8GHz and a turbo clock of 4.2GHz. The AMD Radeon HD 7660D graphics is embedded and the DDP of this APU is 100W. The 32nm architecture is still used and there's absolutely no level 3 cache, instead you get 4MB of level 2 cache. Dual channel DDR3-1866 memory is supported natively. As you can see in CPU-Z the APU gets detected without any problems. The voltage is very low, the latest instructions are used and to save some energy the APU will run on lower frequencies on idle instead of constantly staying at 3.8GHz. Like I've already said before this A10-5800K has an unlocked multiplier and therefore you can overclock this processor very easily. As for the memory support, well I have a DDR3 2000MHz RAM kit installed but I couldn't get it to run at the rated frequency without overclocking the platform. This means I'm running this at 1866MHz. In GPU-Z you can see the HD 7660D integrated graphics gets detected. The specs look pretty good and just like the last generation HD 6550D on the A8 3850 or 3870K, DirectX 11 is fully supported. But now let's move on to the benchmarks, this is my test system.
the AMD A10-5800K APU is definitely a very good choice for people that are in a tight budget. The 5800K offers good CPU performance as well as even better GPU performance. It's a little complicated when comparing this APU against the competition like Intel's Core i3 processor. In terms of CPU performance, the i3-3220, the smallest i3 of the current lineup, still beats the A10-5800K, which is the flagship model of the Trinity lineup. But if you move on to the graphics, you will quickly realize there are hardly any possibilities with the Intel HD 2500 graphics. The performance is just too low, so gaming will be almost impossible. The powerful Radeon HD 7660D offers amazing performance though. Of course you cannot expect to see FPS like you would on mid-range to high-end discrete cards. But for what it is, an embedded GPU inside an APU, it's really really powerful and every single game right now at the time of this video is playable. Some games can even be set to higher settings. Then if you'd like even more performance without spending too much extra money, you could just get yourself a HD 6670 or 6570 and pair the integrated graphics up with one of these two discrete cards. In the end, Intel still has the performance crown, but just consider this price and the features. This APU is fully unlocked, while the i3 has a locked multiplier. So in simple words, the A10-5800K offers similar CPU performance to the Intel Core i3-3220 CPU. But as you saw in the benchmarks, much much better integrated GPU performance is offered. On idle, the A10-5800K was able to beat the i3-3220 in terms of power consumption, but when the machine is on load, Intel still wins. Overall, I think this APU is pretty good. In the end, you have to choose whether you go with Intel's Core i3 or AMD's A10-5800K. Pros are good price performance ratio, amazing GPU performance, so the HD 7660D, then I like the low temperatures. Then this APU also supports high frequency memory and it also has an unlocked multiplier for easy overclocking. For the cons I can only see one thing. The CPU performance could have been a little better but other than that I give this APU a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.